All right, so we're going to learn how to put the 500 cubic inch reel into the FM1 cabinet made by 3DX Tech. So you're going to use the special spool rack. And for this, the way that you install this is you open up your cabinet, you get down here, and you're going to want to count from the top, one, two, three, four, sometimes five from the top, but I typically do four. So you're gonna find the fourth rung and you're going to put the tabs into each of those rungs. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful to make sure that both of them do indeed go into that fourth rung. So there's the fourth one, there's the fourth one, and you're gonna to wanna to gently swing that down. Don't let it hit too hard because it could potentially chip the powder coat. So make sure that this is secure, that it's straight across, and now you can actually grab your reel. So now with your 500 cubic inch spool, you are actually going to want to make sure that it's feeding from the underside, not from the top. This is different than most equipment, but there's a reason for this. It helps with the function. And then you are going to place the spool, slide it through, and be careful because there is actually a little catch point on the inside of this spool. And you're gonna slide it on and it will lock in place with this little hexagon plate here. So you wanna make sure that it's sitting, that it's just about center on that spool. And now you're ready to go to the other side and start connecting your tubing. So for the rest to hook this up to the printer, you are going to need your PTFE tubing at 3 16 outer diameter size, your chip holder, which has a uh, port for the tubing and a place for your chip. This will go into your Fortis printer. Then you're also going to need your Triton Fortis chip that is registering it as a 500 cubic inch reel. If you do not have this, you will not be able to use all of your material on the reel. So now, Depending on the side that you put the rack on, you will want to take the port that is closest to the wall and you will want to unscrew this, take this piece off, take this port plug out. This is holding in the air when the port's not in use. You will then want to take your PTFE tubing, insert it into the port, and then you will want to secure this down until this tubing can no longer slide in and out. You want to make sure that this is only sitting in the port and is not extending too far into the cabinet. If you need to go on the other side and check, you absolutely can. So once this is secure in this port, you want to make sure that you have enough distance to travel up from the FM1 cabinet to the printer with as little winding around as possible. You want it to be straight so the filament can feed nicely. Take your tip. Place it with these two pads up in your chip holder. Insert the tubing to the underside. Make sure that it is secure. And then you are going to take it, insert this. This line will match up with this metal piece back here. You will then feel the magnets grab. It will sit snap into that piece and you can then pull that lever down which will engage the feeder with the chip reader. You'll basically take your end of your filament and you're going to feed it down into this port. Might be a little bit of a search but once you have that in there you should be able to feel the tube and you should be able to begin unwinding your spool up into that line of tubing and you will then be able to see that it is reading 500 cubic inches of ABS. If this material does not match, you will have to check your chip, potentially contact Triton if you have questions.